I grew up in McKinney, Texas, north side of Dallas. I first started playing football when I was about probably eight or nine years old. Uh, back in Texas, the culture is huge. It's basically a religion out there. I played a lot of pickup games with my big cousins. Actually, I couldn't play tackle until like I turned like a certain age, but I would always like play with them after practice and things like that. And that's just where I got my competitive spirit and vibes from. <laughs> they were competitive. Like they didn't show me any mercy, and I think that's what uh, made me grow up fast. And I started playing with the big dogs. The goals I set in high school, I wanted 2,000 yards and at least 30 touchdowns. I looked at you know the top running backs in Texas, and all those guys were reaching like 2,500, 2,000. So. If you wanted to get the recognition in that state, you had to reach at least 2,000, so that's, that's what I set out to do. By the grace of God, I was able to reach that, you know, consecutive years, and uh, I just have to thank, you know, my city for the opportunity and my coaching staff for believing in me, and my teammates as well for pushing me every day in practice. Other sports I played growing up were uh, basketball, and I ran track as well. I believe track especially helped me, you know, just with speed and taking things to the house, you know. Being known as a home run hitter, I think my track background really helped. There's definitely a chip on my shoulder, you know, coming out of high school, they said, uh, you know, I was too small, I wasn't a weight room guy, things like that. So I just always tried to prove to them that I, you know, durability and being strong in between the tackles is something that's always been a part of my game. I love the naysayers, I love the doubters, and I'm just going to keep proving them wrong until I'm done playing. When I first arrived at USC, yeah, I did go through a period where uh, I couldn't function, you know, it was hard to focus. I didn't have any friends, I didn't know anybody, so I definitely had to grow up fast. And, you know, the coaching staff and my teammates really brought me along and, you know, I embraced the culture and then, you know, we ended up doing great things. But I definitely went through a process just being so far away from home. But And that's something my mom warned me about, you know, she said that yeah, you're basically going to the military because we were waking up at 6 a.m. doing all these workouts and, and balancing school at the same time, but I think it's, it's made me who I am today. At the end of my sophomore season, you know, guys declared for the draft just like I'm going through now. And I sat down with Coach Helton and he told me, you know, you're going to be the starter going in, you know, to the camp and things like that. So I knew I was going to have to gain weight and just add on to bulk up my frame to be able to play with the guys. So I got with the nutritionists at SC, the strength coaches and things like that. I probably started getting serious about the weight room, knowing that uh, I was going to probably be the starting running back and I was going to have to take more carry and take more of the load. So once I started doing that, you know, I just I felt the progress and, you know, my legs getting stronger. I was breaking more tackles, things like that. So I definitely saw the benefits. Good. My junior season, we got another new running backs coach, uh, Dylan McCullough, and he just broke the game down, you know, to a science and made it really easy to understand. And we went out, we were able to go out there and, and just react instead of, you know, thinking about what we had to do. We already knew like if the defense is in a certain alignment that this is about what a run should be going. So just little things like that help, uh, you know, make the game easier. My body has changed a lot, you know, since my freshman year in college. Uh, I came in at USC, I was 185. And, you know, I left USC, you know, around 200, 205. So I gained about 25, 30 pounds of muscle and uh, my strength, you know, speed, everything has increased. I thought, you know, just being a fast guy that you could just get down there and run the 40, but there's, a, there's really a science that goes into it, you know, just leverage and having your body weight shifted and things like that. So that have definitely improved in those areas as well. The advice I'd give to high school athletes is to never show yourself short. Like uh, when I came out, they were saying I was too small, this and that, you know. And I know a lot of things go into that, you know, recruiting process, but, you know, no one can put a limit on what you can do. Keep doing what you're doing, and whatever you want to do, you can do it, I promise.